Hi. Yeah, great. Hello. And we are in the Mediterranean, laying on a sunbed. This is Nadia. I'm Jas, and we're currently at Rotherham Research Station. This is the last time we're going to see the sun for 50 days, right? This is the last time we will we will get any sort of sunlight hitting our face. Go From Rotherham Research Station, we have lost any visible sun as of Tuesday. So we have now come up to a higher elevation called Stork Bowl, and now we have access to the sun. And um, we're starting to get sea ice forming. Things are getting a lot colder. The last month has been just torrential winds and awful weather so this is the first time we've been able to get out and thought we'd take this opportunity to come see the sun one last time and go for a snowboard. Do all these poses, yeah. I was saying earlier my posing is going to come along quite quite a lot. Yeah, give me, aspects. you've just seen a massive line up a mountain that's that's tickled you pink. Oh, whoops, I just dropped a uh, quick draw. <laughs> oh, hot aches. Oh, you're amazing. <laughs> I've got what it takes, right? In the sun. Mm, you missed it so far. Have I missed it? Yeah. Maybe a bit more to the right. Did you see the sun? Did you see the sun when you were on Middle Stalk quite a while ago? I tapped out just as the sun came over the horizon. Nice. And have you been climbing, ice climbing, or traditional yeah. climbing? Yeah, icy, icy stuff. Rotherer is quite unique in that we have Reptile Ridge to go climbing, to do skiing, to go snowboarding, and to put igloos on. Most research stations are on a plateau, like Halley, which is on an ice shelf, which means it's quite barren. But uh, at Rotherer, we have lots of wreck that we can do on the weekends and in our spare time. So at Rotherer, we have a tradition where the oldest person will lower the flag at the start of winter and the youngest person will raise the flag at the end of winter when the sun comes back. The station leader is currently giving a speech, which we're all listening to, but the wind kind of ruined <laughs> the vlog. But um, yeah, the day is marked by a lot of drinking and celebrating the fact that we won't see the sun for 60 days, which is slightly daunting. Sam is the chippy on station. He is currently the oldest person and he is 55. Everybody's got to live And everybody's gonna die Everybody try to have a good time I think you know the reason why So right now it is blowing 62 knots outside. Um, I'm going to show you what that looks like. apologize for how zoomed in that selfie shot was. I didn't bring a wide angle lens with me to Rotherer, but on the bright side, at least in these vlogs, you can see how my skin will deteriorate in the really dry atmosphere of Antarctica. So we have months of darkness. What do we do? How do we keep sane? What do we have to keep us busy? Um, let's start off through this door here, which is the bar. We have a foosball table, we have a pool table, a dartboard, we even got a disco ball. Yeah, this room is the, the beating heart of Rotherer. Through this door here, is uh, the big TV room, which is, for all intents and purposes, a cinema. 
Yeah, that's right, in Antarctica, a cinema. You'd think that we're struggling and it's cold and it's hostile and real hard and no. No, no, no. We can watch uh, Desperate Housewives every day of the week because we have a cinema here at Roller Oh, look at that. One of my vlogs from when I was at Halley. You should check that out. Um, so, here we go to see all the previous Rother Winterers, all the way back to the 1970s. Pretty cool. Now, this is one of my favourite rooms. This is the IKEA lounge. When it's not all dark outside, there is a bay with hundreds of icebergs just laying out those windows. It is incredible. This is the room you want to be in when you're hungover on a Saturday. If there's a board game going on or something and you don't fancy reading in the IKEA lounge, you can read in the library. And we have records going back to like Fossil Bluff from the 1950s. This stuff is seriously, seriously old. And I'm gonna do another episode on some of this. So drinking and reading on your thing, we have the green room, uh, which is possibly my favorite place on the station. We also got a little small bouldering wall complete with rings. We have beast makers, we have bars, we have everything you need to keep strong while we're hit down here in the dark and can't go outside. Welcome to the table tennis room, complete with biscuits and with crisps on this. We've got the crisps all here. Very important to us British that we have crisps. And we go on. And if all of that is still not enough, we have a gym with weights. We have a um, machine. I'm not sure what that does. Put some weights on it and you pull things, push things. And then we um, have a Stairmaster and some bicycles and treadmills. So yeah, we are pretty stocked out here. So I've got a lot more upcoming content about Rothera, about the base, about what we're doing in Antarctica, about my job specifically. And I also wanna ask, what do you want to see? It's a pretty unique place we're in and we're here for a year and a half during probably one of the hardest years, the COVID years. So um, yeah, let me know what you wanna know and I will try and get some uploaded footage with nice drone shots for you guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.